welcome back to my channel and if you're new here welcome to my channel my name is Tam and today I have a review video for you guys today we are going to showcase build and buy objects from the new game pack called vampires this game pack is going to be re released tomorrow but i received an early access slash review copy from the ea and that is a disclaimer at the beginning i got the game for free but i'm not being paid to say anything or to do these videos at all i just re re received the copy to review it if i want to so, uh, basically in the previous video we reviewed the create a sim items and now we're going to uh, take a look at build and buy objects as well. So, um, with this game pack uh, we got a new town and these towns are actually looking pretty nice. They are kind of get getting there. We started with two towns, then we got the third one, the fourth one, the fifth one, the sixth one and stuff like that. So, I am really, really, really happy about this. Now... The new town that we got is called Forgotten Hollow and it, it has a little bats on it and it looks really really nice. And I'm going to showcase items in Forgotten Hollow just so you know. So let's get into the Forgotten Hollow. We have a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 different um, living areas, 5, five different lots and uh, it, as much as I know they are all residential and they look really really nice. This is the first one, uh, it is the most expensive one and it is actually occupied. I will show you, um, uh, I'm going to do a town review and a little bit of vampires review and stuff like that with the gameplay in my Plum Bob talk tomorrow on the game release day. So you're going to see it like that, see it then. But for now we're going to enter the Flader Mouse, Flader Mouse Bend and we're going to live there and I'm going to showcase everything that I have uh, there. So, I am extremely excited about this game pack. Vampires were my favorite species in The Sims 3, and I am so happy that they are back, you guys. I cannot believe that they actually released them again, and uh, yeah, I'm, I'm so, so in love with them. Now, let me get into the build mode. Uh, first, of, first of all, the, uh, what I want to show you guys is that we got a couple of new lot traits. The first new traits that we got is a registered vampire lair. The lot registered as a vampire lair, the league will send various guests from time to time uh, through the mail no less. Even the immortals use the public mail service, only available on home residences. Then we got on uh, a dark ley line. Uh, the dark energy uh, here has an impact on all nocturnal activities. You can expect babies conceived here to require extra care while feeding. Ooh, that's going to be interesting. And we got the uh, Vampire Nexus one. A dark void um, uh, envelops the slot uh, in the upside down. Vampires are more likely to visit this area. And I think that that is ev everything. Yeah, that's the only thing that are new. Also, we got... Uh, let me see. I'm going to filter everything by a pack because it's easier for me to know what's new and what's not new. We have six... No, seven... Seven new uh, pre-made rooms. I'm going to showcase pre-made rooms for you guys as well. So we have the first one that is Antique Lavatory. I'm thinking that that's the bathroom. Yeah, it is. And uh, we have in three uh, three different color schemes. I love this red one. I love, love, love this red one. And I'm going to uh, just place it down so you guys can see how it looks. And I think that it looks really, really nice. I will showcase all of the objects um, after I showcase all, 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 all of these rooms, but uh, this is the first one and it looks really, really nice. Now, for the second one, we got uh, Athens Chambers. This looks like something that should be in the basement and your vampire should sleep here. I don't know. I love it. We have it in this beige color, then we have it in pure black and again in something a little grayish. I love the pure black one and I'm going to place it down. We have a coffin, we have this gargoyle statue a mirror and yeah i love this this looks love <laughs> how i said love oh my god i love this this looks so amazing and i cannot wait to start playing with this oh my god this is going to be awesome you guys now we have the antiquated bed chamber i'm i'm butchering probably but never mind we have it in purple that i really do not like because i'm not a fan of purple then we have it in red, I love this in red, and we have it in beige color that I'm going to place simply because, I don't know, I like beige as well. 
and it looks really nice the uh, armor armoire is, is amazing and we got new doors and stuff like that and i love the clock and yeah basically i love everything that came with this new stuff a uh, new game pack sorry then we got the uh, assonance of darkness this is like a living quarters with uh, with uh, the organ and ooh, that's so cool even though i'm not a fan of color schemes i'm going to place the red one and i love this chair this chair is so cool and the organ as well they look really really nice oh my god now uh whoopsie not that this one then we have the refined den uh, again a living room area something like that i'm going to place that as well looks cute looks nice not something that i would use in my house but it looks nice uh then we have the dining room hall of devouring uh, four different color schemes. Wow, that's interesting. And I love this one. Let's place it down. Uh, it looks really cute. And I love that these drapes uh, are... Is there a window in that area? Or... Um, no, there's not, not a window. They basically are using this as a drape on the wall. As a decal or whatever it's called. And uh, we got some... Uh, what's it called? Cobwebs. Nice really nice i love the, these new additions they're going to be amazing for halloween so let's delete that one and the last one is immortal resting grounds basically it's a graveyard for your garden and this uh graveyard looks amazing amazing i'm in love with this graveyard in love and we also got a gate oh my god triple Rot heavy duty gate. They look uh, awesome. I love it. I love these gates. And again, we have some kind of a flower for a wall. Mm, nice. Really nice. Now, I'm going to um, showcase the wallpapers and everything in the build mode first, and then we're going to switch to buy mode. Uh, first of all, let me just place the wall. I'm going to place one for now, and then we are going to add more if we need it. Uh, we're still filtered, so for the vampires we got two different... No. We got uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight! Eight different wallpapers. This is the first one. Large variety of colors. The same color scheme is for Create a Sim. Then uh, we got these with little bats. Then we have these that I really personally love. Same color scheme and uh, diff it's just a different chevron pattern and thinking it's called chevron i'm not sure really 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 look nice then we got these neoclassic wall paneling and i love wall paneling in my houses i don't know why i think that they look awesome they're kind of wood paneling and stuff and something like that and i really like to use that in the house then we got a couple of brick walls and these black ones will look amazing and the corner also the corner ones i think no they're not the corner Give me the white one. They should be the corner ones, but I'm not sure. Hmm, I don't know. But they look awesome, you guys. I love it. Love it. Now for the floors. Did I click on floors? No, I did not. For the floors, we have uh, seven different floor patterns. We have uh, this car... Um, hardwood flooring one then we have this uh, again hardwood flooring but i'm not a fan of these i don't know where am i going to use it maybe you can use it in the middle of the room like a pattern or, or something like that i don't know then we have this uh, carpet that looks really nice uh, they come in the same uh, color scheme as you can see then we have the spider tile that I am a big fan of, especially the black ones. Oh my god. A perfect bathroom tile, for my, in my opinion. Uh, then we have these ones. And we have the Dundonesque stone that is amazing for a basement. Look at that. That is really, really nice. We got uh, four different doors. I'm going to lift this... To the highest so i can showcase every door then we we have these eternal arches then we have mausoleum gate we have arched uh, victorian double door they are a little bit smaller and we have these doors that we already saw and they 
all look amazing. Uh, same color scheme as you can see. Uh, especially, oh my god, I love this red one. Nice, really nice. Then, am I, did I showcase everything? Yes, I did. For the windows, uh, we got five different windows. We got this. This one. Oh, nice. We got this one. Then we got... Thank you for this. Now I have to turn the camera again. Then we got that one. We got this one. Oh my god, I love this one. Uh, this one that is a little bit similar but not the same. And this one. They all look amazing. I'm just going to place these on the white surface so you guys can see it better. And I'm going to place this on the black surface. And yeah. Amazing. I love it. I, I really, really love it. For the decorations, oh boy, we got a couple of wall decorations. The first, uh, we have the gargoyle that we saw in that beautiful room. Then we got the wall fountain. We got the gargoyle howl. Um, basically, you can put this above your door. And also, we got these leaves that you can place on the walls of a graveyard or even your own personal house. I don't know. Maybe you want this in the kitchen or if the house is destroyed, you can place this. I don't have anywhere to place this because my walls are full. Okay, there. Uh, this tiny one. Basically, these are thorns. Oh, I have a couple of ideas now. Nice. Then we have this bigger ivy. And yeah. That looks really nice. I love it. Uh, for... Okay, we do not have anything there. And I don't think that we have anything in the fountains. But we do have four trees and two bushes or something. We have the thorns for the ground. We have these... I think that these are thorns as well. I'm not sure. Painted... What? Painted fern. A call for fern that darkened any garden... Oh, they get, they, that gets too cheery. Nice. Then we have that Hearthorn. Oh boy. Uh, Hearthorn tree. Nice. Oh my god. A big fan of this tree. It reminds me of Sleepy Hollow. Uh, then we have the Saggy tree. Then we have Bard Pine tree. Oh boy. Everything is basically dead here. And we got the Dry Pine tree. So all of the trees are dead. All of the plants are dead. And they look good. They really, really look good. Also, we got a couple of um, chimney accents, like chimneys or whatever. Uh, this is the first one. This is like a little house. Then we got the gargoyle for your roof and the uh, final roof vent or whatever. Uh, I'm not sure. And yeah, I think that that's every... Oh, fences. Sorry. This is the first fence. Mm, this is the first fence. This is the second fence, third fence, and fourth fence. I like the first one a lot. I already showcased the doors, and they are also amazing. I really like them. And I think that that is everything. Also, we got these... Um, what are they called? Railing holders, whatever. They go on your stairs so you can climb, uh, climb on top and not die. And yeah, now on the other side of the slot, I'm going to showcase everything that we have in Build and Buy. And I'm going to... Oh, it's already filtered by uh, objects, so I'm just going to place them down one by one. We got a lot of objects, so let's get started. We got this bed. Uh, I'm not going to showcase every single color. You can see there's a large variety of colors. And uh, oh my god, this whitish pink one looks amazing. Then we got three coffins. This is the first one. It is basic wooden coffin. This is the second one. And this is a little bit of a classier one. Oh god, I need money. <laughs> I just figured it out. Mother load. And I'm just going to add money if I need it again. Okay, and now we have the, these chairs that I personally really like. Then we got the gothic dining chair. Uh, we have this chair. I'm not a fan of this, whatever it's called. It is called Thrill of the Chase. I'm not a fan of it, but you can use it in vampire houses. It will look good. Then we got a heart, uh, what? Stone hearted love seat. And we, got, we have this gothic love seat that I personally like. It goes with th this chair and this chair in my personal opinion. We got uh, something new for the kitchen. 
and let me move oh, right over here. We got this uh, counter, then we got this counter, and we got something for uh, a wall, which is nice. We got elegant Victorian table, uh, a little bit bigger, bigger Victorian table, gothic wall shelf, and then we, got, we have the pedestal sink. We have, oh my god, this toilet is so good. Then we have this shower, um, the bar, there's the or organ, whoopsie, the organs look amazing, small wall hole, uh, medium, and large, really nice. Then, uh, I don't, I'm not sure what these are, multiple holes, okay, they, they, these are multiple holes, and cracks for the walls. Amazing for haunted houses. I, I actually see myself using these. I don't know. I am thinking that this is going to be awesome for building and stuff like that. Also, we got the large tearings. We have the small, whatever, like the wolf tear it or whatever. And then we have uh, bigger holes. And yeah, basically these are wall decals that you can place on to make your houses look abandoned. And yeah, really nice. Then we have the cobwebs that are hanging from the ceiling that I cannot show right now. Then we have the cornered one that I actually cannot show right now. Then we have the cobweb connection that I have absolutely no idea how am I going to place. I still have to play with the cobwebs. And we have the floor ones that you can place in the corners again. Also, we got this shrubbery tapestry uh, that I can... I'm just going to place it here. Um, Moonlit Rose Garden Paintings. Uh, I'm going to delete this so you can see the paintings. Uh, paintings are so cute, you guys. I love these. Uh, fountain I showed. I showed everything. Uh, then we have the Count Vladislaus. Uh, Count Vladislaus, I think I... Oh, yeah. Vladislaus Stroud the first. Then we have this mirror. Then we have this mirror, and also we got a lot of drapes. These are the first ones, these are the second ones, and these are the third ones. Then we have these floor pedestals that I'm going to place right here. We have the first one, the second one, and the third one. Also a lot of statues. Uh, gargoyle, uh, I'm thinking that this is a fairy, I'm not sure. Uh, yeah, that's a fairy. Then we have the woman statue, uh, llama of death, the winged gargoyle on the pedestal. Uh, every basically everything you have without the pedestal, you have with the pedestal as well. Uh, let me move down. Woman, and then you have the tombstones for the graveyards. Whoopsie! A uh, large variety of colors, as I said. Oh, these are cornered ones, like. No, they're just a little bit turned. And we have this one that is also a little bit turned. What is this? Uh, rug end. Rug center. So basically you can make a larger rug. And just turn and have a big rug. Nice. This is really nice. A Victorian floor rug. Not a big fan of. Then we got the fireplace that I am really... Okay, uh, I'm going to place it right here. And we have the Victorian bath towel. Uh, also, I showcased these. Then we have the cuckoo to who's something skull. Creepy. That's that's a creepy. That's creepy. Really creepy. Modern iron radiator. Uh, antique book stand uh, that I really like. It's going to be amazing for maybe witch stories or something like that. Uh, it looks really cool. Then we got the large decorative urn. That kind of doesn't, or maybe in a black or something like that, but with this yellow color doesn't work. I don't know, this red one does. Then we have the neoclassic floor cabinet. Uh, amazing for kitchens, I love it. Amazing for witches as well. And also we got the ancient bassinet for our vampire babies. And this bassinet comes in a large variety of colors. I love this purple one and the red one. I already played with this, so I know how to know, know that they are here. Also, we got another toy for uh, children. We got the bear... bear kula? It, it is a bat or a bear, I don't know, but I think that it is a combination of it. And yeah, it looks really cute. We got this lamp. Um, 
it's a lamp with well, candles, it's like, I don't know, candle stand, whatever. Then we got the tesseled lamp, we got this lamp that I personally like, we got this bigger one, and we got a couple of chandeliers that I really don't have anywhere to place, because I do not have a ceiling. Uh, gothic a candle wall something stand look at this this looks really nice and we got the endless time some time basically a clock and the last thing is a reclaimed pine wood I wood wardrobe wardrobe yeah and yeah basically these are all the items there isn't a huge amount of items but uh, everything that we got looks good in my personal opinion i personally like them and uh, they're going to be amazing for decorating your vampire houses your backyards making making gothic thing themed houses and stuff like that they are really going to look amazing and i actually got an idea of making a graveyard now <laughs> i really need to try that out that is going to be everything for this part please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it subscribe to my channel if you want to see more of my videos and also, if you have any comments and any suggestions, please leave them in the comment section down below. And stay tuned for tomorrow's video where I'm, where I'm going to showcase a little bit of Vampire Powers, Forgotten Hollow, um, Vampire Families in Forgotten Hollow, and basically everything that is uh, happening with this game pack. Also, today I'm starting a brand new series on my channel, a Let's Play series called The Coven, so stay tuned for that as well. This is going to be everything for now, enjoy the rest of your day, and I'll talk to you guys next time, bye!